Hello everyone, this is Jody from Bubbles Buzz. Firstly, thank you very much for coming to watch my video tutorial. Now, you're here today because you would like to learn how to record your monitor, or as some would say, capture your screen. Now, I have actually come across two options which I feel are actually really quite good. The first option I'm going to show you is actually not the one I'm using right now. It's actually the second option I'm going to tell you all about. But firstly, as you can see here, here's a desktop shortcut for a software called Hypercam. Now, to find Hypercam, if you go onto Google and type Hypercam, H-Y-P-E-R-C-A-M, and it will be the first website that comes up by a website called hyperonics.com. So if we just click on that link there. And as you can see here on the top right, there's a download Hypercam link. So if we just click on there. And if you run and install that software, and once it's installed, just close the website there. If we just open that up, you will see here is the Hypercam interface. Um, here you can press start record, start recording your video tutorial or whatever it is you're trying to record. Um, if you click here you can pause your video and then continue if you want to. And then you can play it back to yourself right there. Here allows you to select a region that you'd like to record as opposed to a window or the full screen. Here you can select just a window as opposed to your whole monitor. If you click here, you will see um, that by default, Hypercam will save your video onto your desktop, but it gives you the option to decide where you'd like to save your video. But personally, I find it much easier just to have the video saved on my desktop and I can find it really quick and easy. Here, you can decide what colour you'd like your left mouse click to be. So, here on the other option I'm using, I'll just show you, when I click, um, a colour comes up and it highlights the area I'm talking about so I can draw the audience attention to where I'm clicking. With Hypercam, by default the click is set to a red star on the left, when I click on the left, sorry, and when I right click it's set to uh, a blue star colour, but you can change that by clicking on there like that and just change it to any old colour you like. Um, so that's Hypercam. And my second option today is AVS Capture Screen, which is actually within AVS Video Editor software. As you can see, there's a desktop shortcut right there. Now, to find that software, if you just type into Google AVS, and it will be the third option down right here by a website called avs4u.com. So if you just click on that, the software you want to download is right here. So you just click that download button, um, run the software and install it. And once you've done that, close the window and then open up your AVS. So just take a little minute to do that. I won't actually be able to show you um, the inf interface of the actual capture screen because I'm actually using it right now. So this is the software I'm using right now to record this video tutorial, which in my preference is is my favourite. Out of the two Hypercam and AVS capture screen, this one is my favourite AVS capture screen. So there, as you can see, AVS video editor within it has this capture screen. So that is AVS capture screen and my two options to record your monitor. Now, I hope my video has been helpful. If you'd like to leave any comments under my video, that would be fantastic. If there's any other video tutorials you would like me to do to explain anything else to you, like any other softwares or any other ways to do things that you don't quite know how to do, then feel free to leave me a comment under this video or in my channel comments, and I'll be happy to do that. Okay, thanks so much, and have a great day.